Okay, so right now we doing the last part, it's we filling up our sieve. So let's begin. Uh, here's our sieve. Uh, what I would prefer to do is to copy the sieve with a file with different name. Why? Because if for some reason you would ever need to perform the another refinement of your structure, do not kill all your data which you already uh, put in the sieve. Um, you need to have the file with separate name. Otherwise, if you will do the Excel again, also refinement, so it will rewrite your sieve and you will lose all your inputs which you already put in. So, I copy the sieve with a file with different names. So, let's call it deals and the score f dot star. Okay, that means it will copy the file with a uh, new name, deals underscore f, and dot star means it will have the same extension, so sieve. Okay, so here is my sieve file, and uh, this file I will start to um, fill up. Okay, first thing what you uh, see in the first lines, it's uh, chemical name systematic well you can fill it up you can main not fill it up melting point it's up to you some people do some people don't I usually don't do that but what you need to fill up it's chemical formula mighty what does it mean well here's you have chemical formula sum where it's just sim simply sums all the atoms and amount of the all the atoms in your uh, molecule or uh, in your actually asymmetric unit. Um, well, formula moiety it actually allows you to separate um, uh, the molecules by parts. For example, if you would have solvate with water, you would write uh, in formula moiety the formula of the uh, your molecule, comma and formula uh, of water. So it will be C16, H16O2 and H2O. Well, in our case we have only mo one molecule uh, in our asymmetric unit, so it's only this particular uh, Dilsolder adduct. So the, the formula sum should be equal to formula moiety. So what I need to do, I just need to simply copy it. So creating a new line under, underneath the formula moiety, copy uh, the formula with a shift, do Ctrl C, so I did copy it, then Ctrl V to paste it, delete the line here, and what you need to do is delete this question sign after formula moiety. So we fill it up formula moiety. Well, the next question mark it will be symmetry cell settings and we know its space group it's P21 up and N so it is correspond to monoclinic space group and since it's monoclinic space group that's uh, what you need to write so it would be monoclinic okay I'm uh, going next. Uh, symmetry space group name. Well, how we told it's P21 up and N. So P2. Let's space it. P21 up and N. Okay. Next thing. Next thing, what you see is cell measurement refinement used and the cell measurement theta mean, theta max. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Well, these guys are uh, asking you for statistics. Um, how many reflections did you use to index your unit cell and refine your unit cell? And also what the theta minimum and theta maximum uh, angles for those reflections. Well, where you take this information? Well, this information you take in the files from files which you used for integration. Yes, um, well, so let's find one of these files. So I do an escape, save, uh, we're saving this file, and I think those files 
on my network server. Yeah, here they are. And what you need to look is for file um, which have 0m dot underscore ls, at least for um, modern Apex 2 software, that's where you find it. And if you go there, you go all the way from top, you go to the bottom. And you can see here is our unit cell, ABC alpha beta gamma, and our volume, and our errors. Okay, and w w what you, uh, you uh, where is this information about the reflection which you use for indexing and refining unit cell? It's right here. So you use six, uh, uh, sixty-six hundred reflection, uh, sixty-six hundred and two reflections, and here is your minimum two theta and maximum two theta. So here the values is in two theta. So all these values we would need to divide by two when we introducing them in the C file. So but let's transfer the reflection. So I copy the reflections is control C. Okay I introducing them here reflections. Okay then um, we have an uh, minimum two theta and we want to transfer it to theta, so it's 4.56 divided by 2, 228. So that's what I'm putting here, 228. And maximum was 5886. 5886. So 58. 86 divided by 2 would be 2943. 2943, that's what I'm introducing here. Okay, so we fill up this information. Now, information about the crystal. Um, crystal description it was prism. Uh, color it was colorless. Um, expected crystal density means. Uh, did you measure the crystal density? No, we didn't measure it. So I copy it from here, saying it not measured. Uh, next thing, adsorption correction time. In this case, I use SADAPS, which is standard for Brooker, so uh, Brooker software package. So it's multi scan adsorption correction. Multi the scan. Now adsorption correction details. And here you would need to introduce references. Well, I usually, what I prefer to do, I usually prepare the example file uh, with all those references, uh, which works pretty good. And I just copy paste those references. And I will upload on the YouTube or somewhere else. If someone needs those example files, I can show it to you. I can send it to you. So that's how I'm gonna do. So escape save my file. Let's find those my example file. I think it's on drive C. Okay, and here is it. And you can see here it's a created specifically for smart diffractometer. Um, and what we need from here is this reference with setups. Okay, it's in new setups 2008 version. So that's what I introduce in my ends. After that, I need to fill up the device. I also picking it up uh, from here. Broker Smart 1000 area detector. Find Omega scan. Copying that pasting into my file and you can see how in Far Manager you can easily use uh, two windows to simplify your work of filling up the sieves. Okay, now uh, references uh, for data collection, data refinement and everything I also copied from my ready file and if anyone need my f uh, those files just 
put comments on the YouTube and I can send it to you. It's free of charge. I think those structures already were published a long time ago. Okay. Um, have been done and now we put those references but we need to actually uh, put the references on the bottom and on the bottom you put uh, quick references again taking them from previous file and this is bubble section references and so you're giving the references to the program you not not everyone giving those references but you actually it's would be quite nice because uh, whenever you got uh, your file, your C file, so can he can re really see what software did you use for structure, solution, structure refinement, and so on. I know it's pretty standard, but you know you need to be really nice to your uh, people who review your C file for your article. So. Okay, we introduce all the references and everything into the C file. So we say escape, save. The next thing what you need to do is check it with this check save. Well, to do so, uh, you need to go to the internet and in Google. Today is Father's Day, so you can see very funny Google stuff. So you can type check save. And I think it's the first thing what you see. It's a check sieve. And it allows you to load your sieve and see if you have any errors. So I'm going to load all this C, Andre, and Dil Salder. And this, this is our final sieve. Say so open. And right now, uh, Euchre, uh, International Union of Crystallography, required to apply the structure factor. So and we have those structure factors, so it's your next step. And I highly recommend you to apply them because it prevents people to cheating on the structures. So where is our structure factor? It's our FCF file. Right here you see deals CIF and deals FCF. So those FCF it's your structure factors. And upload structure factor file and see. Do we have any errors? Well, no syntax errors, it's fine. And you can see we actually are very, very good. So we are uh, have only two very minor alert C. So some alert G which tell us about the chiral centers, but we, okay, we have P21 slash N, so it's center symmetric, doesn't matter anything. Just helpful information. So, in all honesty, the structure is ready to publish. So, 